drive. It's 6.30 in the morning. And Renee's just had a juice, so she's got a little bit of sugar in there, but... That was a good plan, because <laughs> it was straight into four-wheel driving. Here we are. Fraser Island does not have bitumen roads. The tracks on Fraser Island are soft sand and require four-wheel drive vehicles with high ground clearance. Regular road rules apply, so keep to the left and under 15 or 35 kilometers per hour on the inland tracks and 80 kilometers per hour on the beach. Yurong, Yurong, and Renee did an amazing job there. <laughs> Looked quite difficult in sections. <laughs> Proud of you, babe. It took us an hour to drive from the resort to Yurong, where we stopped for coffee and donuts. Beach driving is not allowed during the two hours before and after high tide. Today high tide was at 2.30 p.m., so we had to get an early start to see the sights on the island's eastern coast. Our first stop was Eli Creek, the largest creek on the eastern beach of Fraser Island. To get there, we had to drive on soft sand and through many creek washouts. Here we had to detour around dangerous rocks that were exposed by the tide. Creek and crossing over the creek was a bit scary. We thought maybe we could avoid it since this was maybe as far as we wanted to go. But no, you have to cross over Eli Creek before you get to the big parking area. And I wasn't prepared, I didn't have the windshield wipers going, and we got deluged. And I couldn't see for a few seconds, but luckily at that point we were already out. Um, and we're hoping to not get caught in a thunderstorm because there are some gray clouds on the horizon, but... So we'll go up the Eli Creek now before it comes in. We're only going to get wet anyways. Eli Creek is a popular picnic and swimming spot with a boardwalk that follows the creek inland through Banksia and Pandanus trees. So they say it's uh, fresh and clean enough to drink, so we're upstream of everybody, so let's give it a go. How's it taste? Mm, so fresh and so clean. It's definitely icy enough to be refreshing. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like coming out of the fridge. Uh, you want to try it? Go on. <laughs> Go into the deep section. Yeah, we get a bit of filtration. How about I just do this? Oh, go on, get in there. Here it goes. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can do this, but I want to. You can, you're Kiwi. Whoa. Oh. 
Das war ich. It's fast flowing. So I read that there's 80,000 liters of water that come out of this creek a day. And I can believe that with how fast it's running. <laughs> you fresh and cold? Fresh and cold. Set up their parking quite nicely here. Except for me. Uh, I'm a rebel. <laughs> Our next stop was the Mahino shipwreck. The SS Mahino was one of the first turbine driven steamers and the largest boat in the world in 1905. A regular route was between Sydney and Auckland. After World War I, she was sold to Japan for scrap. Whilst being towed to Japan, a cyclone snapped the tow chain and the Mahino drifted onto Fraser Island. <laughs> We've just been going back and high tide's approaching, but there's heaps of washouts here. We've been watching for dingoes on the beach. Fraser Island has the purest strain of dingo in Australia. It is estimated that there are 30 packs of about 200 individuals. Dingoes belong to packs who meet every few days and coalesce to mate and rear pups, although dingoes are often seen alone. Harrowing. <laughs> um, I'm glad to be done. Very, very glad to be done. We've got some uh, water on the camera after that one. You did very well. Thank God we're off that beach. It was a half hour drive from Yurong to Central Station. The rainforest here grows on sand, a soil that is notoriously low in nutrients essential to plant growth. Fraser Island is the only place in the world where such a diversity of vegetation grows on sand. Just done a nice four wheel drive inland. I like the inland drives, much less stressful than the beach driving. Renee's a pro. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a little creek here that it actually looks like there's no water. We but swear there's water down there. there we can see water. it flowing. <laughs> Central Station was a butchler woman's area and birthing place where men were excluded.
Haven't seen any yabbies yet, have they? No. But we've seen a snake. Strangler fig. This has taken over that tree. So this is the satinae. It's all around us. This area was headquarters of Fraser's forestry operations. Carry pine, satinae's, and hoop pine were heavily logged from 1863 to the 1950s. Our last stop was Lake Mackenzie, which was the most visited natural site on the island. It is a perch lake as it contains only rainwater and does not flow into the ocean. Silica sand acts as a filter, purifying the water and giving it a crystal clear color. Although it can support very little life, the lake shines brilliant turquoise blue in the sun. Highlight of the day, or it is. To get this Asian group that's just arrived. They arrived later than us. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna take it to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> 